Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. I had somebody request some pictures of my mobile oppression unit setup, and I thought that it would just be easier if I filmed it all again and showed you how I had this set up. Now, when I'm driving around, all this stuff is pretty much the same with the exception of the iPad. The iPad, I only hook up here when I'm on the road for day job. Otherwise, that just stays open, and I don't, I don't use the RAM mount thing for it. Otherwise, I have these other two setups here. One is the latest one that I did, which is directly center of the of the dashboard. And it took me forever to come up with this contraption. And then the other one, of course, is the older one that I used to use that I didn't like to use, which is the monopod that I have hooked up to this RAM mount base that's off to the side of the center console. I don't like that one because it basically shows too much window and the window gets blown out and I don't like it. I prefer to have it in the center and that way when I have it been like right now I'm just resting this on the steering wheel but when I have it on the center it shows like the entire interior of the forerunner and I can spin it forward so I can get you know my, my speed ramps or time lapses and all that shit out of the front windshield. You just have to deal with the fact that I have a lot of cracks chips and shit in my windshield so it always looks like there's something on the screen. And that's what it is. And then sometimes I have a little monkey that I have had for like 20 years that hangs on my windshield. And sometimes that gets in, in the picture too. So it looks like there's a flying monkey and a UFO to the other side. Fun times. Okay, let me show you this stuff. All right, so what I have here for the whole setup is that I built this contraption here with a cheese plate and a bunch of other shit. And in the back here, I have two plates that I have screwed into the back of, or the, like the underside of the cheese plate. And then that has Velcro on it. And then underneath here on the actual dashboard surface, I have a strip of Velcro so that this adheres now to that. And then I put these two basically uh, threaded bars up through the cheese plate and it actually screws in there because there are grooves, uh, you know, or threads in there to take that. And it goes down all the way down to the cup holder. And then I cut this one so that it goes onto this contraption, the RAM mount. And then that way, it see, it doesn't move unless, unless I make it move. Then I finally found this stupid panning thing so that I can easily mount whichever camera. So lately, you know, because I've been testing this Insta360 ONE RS, but normally it's my A7 IV, I can put it on here and then I just have to loosen this up and now I get to spin it at my leisure. And then when I'm done with it, spin it back, tighten it down, and now it isn't going anywhere. Now, as far as power goes, I got a number of things that I have had here for a long time. Oh, and by the way, this is the anchor system. So I just put two more screws or, or you know, whatever, we'll just call them screws into the cheese plate so that it's threaded in there. And then I took some paracord, wrapped it around this side and that side, put them back to a buckle and then Velcroed it so that it, I mean, it's not tight. I don't intend it to be tight. I just have it so that if for some reason this let go and tips forward, this will grab it and keep it from going long enough for me to either pull over to the side of the road and not wreck or just keep driving and reach over here and keep my, you know, $7,000 camera setup from falling down. Not this one, of course. So that's how that goes. Now, as far as power goes, the nice thing about this Forerunner, oh, and you know, so here's my personal phone which I have power going to, and then I have my work phone that I usually have ways going, and that also has power that I've now zipped to this little bar. And then I have a RAM mount with a uh, tablet holder, and it just, it just stretches out there to the side. And I put that down here, then I have power going to this, and I also, and you can't quite see it, but I have a audio cable that goes from the headphone out or in whatever of the iPad and then and it goes way down in there to an actual jack a three and a half millimeter jack and then I can pump the audio from this into the auxiliary port of the, the built-in stereo of the forerunner now as far as power goes I have a USB or actually I actually have a you know like a 12 volt jack there so I had that split I put a USB like a, a double USB hub thingy that goes into a 12 volt lighter or whatever. I, don't know, I guess they don't call them lighter jacks anymore, but a 12 volt jack. Then inside the center console, and you're never gonna be able to see it because it's, it's way down in there, but I have another one that has a double 
And then I have this. I've got a hub that has what? One, two, three, four, five, six. A six USB hub that I then plug back in here. It runs back down through there, connects to that hub. It's all part of this thing. And it still gives me two additional jacks here. And then there's another ugh, 12 volt right there. And then I plug in a cyber power power inverter. So I get two plugs and then I plug my work laptop into that when I'm on the road because I found that the work laptop's battery sucks. And if I don't have it powered when I'm going in between meetings, I go into meetings and the damn thing is dead. And that is pretty much it. All that stuff all comes together. Now, one thing about this hub, this jelly comb or whatever the hell it is, it is old. So it isn't giving me enough juice to power like my a7 IV, I had to plug that directly into this one that goes into the right into the forerunner there. It's not giving me enough power. So earlier today, like a couple hours ago, I ordered a new one that's like a 96 watt. And one of the feedbacks or comments, whatever, within the ad for it, the guy says, yeah, I'm on the road all the time. I've got two phones, a tablet and my laptop hooked up to it. And I thought, perfect. Keep in mind, like this is a USB-C cable and that's going down in, into one of those things down there. That is what I use to power this because it doesn't take much to power it. That way I can keep this, you know, like I was putting the audio adapter in there and I was using it so that I constantly had the microphone plugged in and I had this USB-C plugged in underneath so that I could keep it powered the entire time I was using it. I have not had any overheating problems. It does get really warm, but I, I think I recorded like a time lapse for a long time. It was like at least an hour. And of course I cut a shit ton of it out because I just didn't need to have that long of a time lapse in my video. I can do that. I can also power the A7 IV. That's more important because and this is why I'm telling you this, all cables are not created equal. I had tried three or four different cables before I actually got one that worked with the A7 IV so that it was enough that it could power it or at the very least, as the battery was getting used, the power going into it was enough to keep it at that level. But you always have to start with a full battery. Otherwise, it, it doesn't quite keep up with it. I can't explain that. I'm not a power expert, but that's how that goes. So now everything goes through this vehicle so that my work phone, I just use a headset. But this phone, because it plugs into this center console thing here, it goes into the system of the car and it now powers in through the stereo. So that way I, I can talk personally through my vehicle's sound system, but I just use a headset for when it's work and I don't really get all that many work calls. Usually it's just a couple of my buddies and, and we're just bullshitting because we're driving all over like idiots. And then this, I just have one so that I can listen to music, other music, like I have a playlist that's on YouTube and I just play music. I don't actually watch videos when I'm driving. Okay, so don't freak out about that. But that's pretty much it. I mean, that camera up there that I have plugged into the, you know, so that I can have forward and rear facing cameras because I'm on the road a lot and I need proof that other people are assholes. So that's it. Just a real quick video showing you how I have this mobile oppression unit set up so that I can record and I can navigate and I can talk on the phone and I can listen to music and I can do all the shit I need to do and how I have it powered. Hopefully you have as many 12 volt jacks that you can use so that you can power all the devices like I do. If not, well, you're gonna have to go out and buy a new car. But I specifically got this Forerunner because it has all that power everywhere. And I still have another jack way in the back. And, it, and that actually, I have to turn that on and it will actually power a, a, like a really huge device. I could run a TV or you know a hair dryer or a microwave or something like that. But it has to be turned on and I don't do that very often. I use it for my air compressor if I have a flat tire or something like that. So that's it. I, that's really all I wanted to show you since somebody asked and I haven't done this in a while. And now that I have this all done the way that I'm going to keep it, it's sort of like a final follow up video showing you all that kind of stuff. So we're good to go. I got a number of packages coming in over the next several days. Today will be the mini carbon fiber Sure tripod. I also got a well, like an ND filter for the Insta360 ONE RS. 
So I have uh, an ND filter coming in for the one inch module and an ND filter coming in for the 360 module. You know me, I got a bunch of shit coming. I'll show you when it gets here. But for now, I got to motor off and get some coffee and I got to get that get there before they close. So that's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.